The blood of Jesus conquered Satan and all his minions thousands of years ago. It was through the shed blood that our sins were purged out, and we have dominion over the works of darkness and sin, death, hell and the grave. I am here to tell you that the blood of Jesus can deal a devastating blow to the wicked ones who are ganged up against you and your family. No matter how many they are, just at the mention of the blood and name of Jesus, the wicked ones will bow to the authority that the name and blood of Jesus wields. You are more than a conqueror through the shed blood of our Lord Jesus. No matter how the wicked ones have planned to hurt you and your families, they can never touch a strand of your hair, because the Lord has placed his mark upon you and your loved ones and by this, you can never be hurt by the wicked ones. This very hour, we will be invoking the blood of Jesus to protect and hide us from the wiles and arrows of the wicked ones. Let us pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we say thank you for giving us your blood as a weapon of offense and defense against the wicked ones that are gathered against us. We give you the praise because your blood has made us more than conquerors, and we can never be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord Jesus, because our families are heavily protected and secured against the plans and activities of the wicked ones that are round about us. In the name that is above every other name, we decree that the blood of Jesus is exposing all the powers of darkness that are subtly and obviously in operation in our lives and family. We decree that as the blood of Jesus is exposing these dark forces, it is also nullifying and rendering impotent all their activities in the name of Jesus. We stand as oracles of the Father and decree that stagnation, lack, retrogression, and penury have all been wiped away from our lives and families by the power in the blood of Jesus. We pray that today marks an end to these evil vices the wicked ones are using to place a siege over our lives and families in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Exodus 14 verse 14 that the Lord will fight for us and we shall hold our peace. Because of the Word of God, I decree that the Lord is fighting on our behalves against all the wicked ones who have sworn that they will not stop pursuing us in the name of Jesus. From today, we will be far from oppression and suppression because the blood of Jesus has exempted us from them. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that all our families will never fall prey to the hands of the wicked ones as they go about their daily activities. We lift every member of our families and we commit them into the hands of God. We know that whatever we hand over into the hands of God is safe. Therefore, we declare that as we have handed over the lives of each member of our families into God's hands, they are safe and the Lord will keep on carrying them for the rest of their lives. We also pray that they will not slip out of God's mighty hands out of ignorance in the name of Jesus. We proclaim safety and security over our families. The pestilence and arrows that fly by day will never hit our loved ones in the name of Jesus. The Lord is jealously guarding and protecting the members of our families in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over everyone who is connected to us. The blood of Jesus is shielding them and us from the fiery darts of the enemies who are bent on cutting short the lives of our loved ones and families in the name that is above every other name. By the reason of these prayers, we proclaim that our families are in the land of Goshen, which is the land of the Lord. No one will make us leave where God has planted us, and our loved ones in Jesus' name. We pray that we will be able to discern when God is telling us to stay where he has kept us. And as we obey, we will not be sighted by the hawks of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As a believer, your family is a powerful instrument that God uses to accomplish his will on earth. Therefore, it's crucial that your family stays attuned to what God is doing in each season. The devil and his minions will attempt to thwart God's plans by causing various troubles, making you doubt God's care and protection. However, this shouldn't shake your faith. Instead, let it strengthen your resolve, knowing that God is still performing miracles, signs, and wonders in families. Understand that God's will for your family is for them to prosper and be in good health. You must pray fervently for your family's stability and to access all the blessings reserved for you in Christ Jesus. 
In Mark 11 verse 24, the Word of God tells us that whatever we desire when we pray, if we believe that we have already received it, then it shall be ours. The fervent and effective prayer of a righteous person holds great power and can bring profound changes. When you pray with faith, you have the ability to transform your family's circumstances. Let us pray together for our families with a strong conviction, believing that the Lord will hear and answer us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord for making our families live in peace, unity, and stability. Lord, we extol your name for never allowing the wicked ones to triumph over our families, and you always cover the nakedness of our families. We give you the praise, Lord, for always providing for our needs. You come through for us in ways that are far beyond our imagination and expectation. Glory be to your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that your will and purpose are enforced in our families. Father, we ask that you forgive us in any way our families have done things that are contrary to your will for us. We plead for your mercy over our families in Jesus' name. Colossians 3 verse 14 says over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. I pray that there is love much more in your family. There is no more strife and contention. The plans of the wicked ones against your family will fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Psalm 133 verse 1 says how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. I pray for your family that all the members of your family will dwell in unity among themselves. There will be no divisions among members of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your family that the Lord will supply all the needs of your family according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. The Lord will build a hedge around your family, and this will prevent the evil ones from having access to your family in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Psalm 23 verse, 1 The Lord is your shepherd, and you shall not want. I pray for your family that the Lord will always lead your family to green pastures in Jesus' name. Where men have talked down on your family due to the present circumstances of your family, they will begin to celebrate your family in the name of Jesus. The path of your family is like a shining light, which shines brighter and brighter, even unto the perfect day in Jesus' name. Psalm 5 verse 12 says God encompasses the righteous with favor like a shield. I hereby pray for your family, that the Lord will cause your family to experience strange dimensions of favor that will beat the imagination of men and will make you amazed in Jesus' name. I cancel and put to null and void all the devices of the wicked ones against your family. The blessing of the Lord in your family will make your family rich, and no form of sorrow will be attached to it in Jesus' name. I pray for your family that it will begin to lay gold as dust in all ramifications. Your family will be a perfect model for other families to emulate. The mercy of the Lord will always be sufficient for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all members of your family that they discover the will and purpose of God for them in the name of Jesus. The good Lord will replace the garment of sorrow with the garment of rejoicing in Jesus' name. We bless your name, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The main aim of the devil and his minions is to kill, steal, and destroy. They derive utmost pleasure in doing these. The devil and his hosts are not resting on their oars to wreak havoc on the children of men. They hate men so much because they know that God created men in his image, unlike them who were made from many elements. You should be aware that you cannot overcome the powers of darkness with your intellect, ideas, skills, and mundane weapons. The word of God has made it clear to us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty enough to pull down strongholds. All demonic onslaughts against you and your family are ending this season in Jesus' name. Today, we will be praying against all the activities of the wicked ones against us and our families. Let us pray together in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that gather together against us and our families. We say that all the agendas of the wicked ones aimed at decapacitating the will of God for us are rendered null and void this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name above every other name, 
We decree that all the attacks of the evil ones against any of our loved ones to frustrate their finances, marriage, academics, business, and other areas of their lives are falling to the ground like a pack of cards. We stand in the victory that we have been given over 2,000 years in Christ Jesus and decree that the will of the Lord will trump over the works of darkness in our lives and families in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of the resurrection power at work in us, we decree that all the good things that the devil and his minions have made to die are jerking back to life this instant in the name of Jesus. The resurrection will begin to raise back all the hidden virtues that are lying dormant and fallow in our lives in the name of Jesus. We stand in the confidence of God's word and decree that all the plots of the wicked ones to cut short our lives and the lives of our loved ones are exposed right now and annulled in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree that not one of our loved ones will die prematurely. We will live long to fulfill our glorious destinies in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises in judgment against us, we should condemn. We, therefore, stand in solidarity with God's word and decree that all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones targeted at us and our loved ones are packing up this very minute in Jesus' name. We also condemn all the evil tongues that have been speaking negative things against our lives. We say that these tongues are muted right now, and they won't be able to use it again in Jesus' name. Exodus 14 verse 14 says that the Lord will fight for us, and we will hold our peace. The word of God is true and never fails. We hereby invite the host of heaven to go ahead of us and begin to war against all the powers of darkness that are bent on frustrating our efforts and do not want us to eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. Just like how Pharaoh and his hosts were all drowned in the Red Sea after they made up their minds to pursue the children of Israel. That is the same way all the hosts of the powers of darkness that are bent on chasing us are drowned in the flood of the Lord of hosts in Jesus' name. Not one of them will escape as they will all be drowned. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that all forms of attack against the will of God from being manifested and enforced in our lives are decapacitated and foiled right now. We decree that the will of God will begin to emerge and manifest in all areas of our lives and families in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the Egyptians we saw yesterday will see no more. We will ride upon the heads of our enemies and triumph over them in the authority and victory that we have been given in Christ Jesus. Just like in the times of old or after every battle, the children of Israel always plunder the spoils of the enemies. That is the same war we are taking possession of the hidden treasures of darkness that the enemies came with to fight against us in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering every one of our prayers. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The word of God has made it clear to us that every other imagination that exalts its head above the knowledge of God should be brought to obedience of Christ. One of those things is an evil covenant. Evil covenants are agreements that your parents or anyone in your lineage entered into with the forces of darkness that are acting contrary to the will of God for you. Evil covenants have a way of impeding your growth, progress and greatness in life. That is the foremost reason you must renounce them in the name of Jesus and also use the blood of Jesus to break them. Today, we will break evil covenants that are subtly and obviously in operation in your lives and families. Do well to pray with all sincerity and zeal. Remember that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. I believe that evil covenants will be destroyed after the prayers. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I thank you Father because even before I call on you, you always answer and hear me. I believe and know that evil covenants in your children's lives are broken today. Your word says that I will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to me and light will shine upon my paths. According to your word, I hereby decree that all evil agreement that has been entered into by any of your children, knowingly and unknowingly are abolished right now in the name of Jesus. 
I decree that your children have no part in this evil covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over your children that the blood of Jesus is nullifying all the negative covenants that they don't know about that are putting their lives on a standstill. I stand as an oracle of the Father and declare that the fire of the Lord is consuming all the evil covenants that the wicked ones have employed to stagnate these ones in the name of Jesus. I decree and decree that today marks the end of oppression in the lives of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. The Word of God has made it clear to me that affliction can never rise again the second time. Therefore, by the reason of God's sure word, I decree that all the things that are afflicting your children through evil covenants have come to an end today, whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all the things that you have lost in the past due to evil covenants are restored back to you sevenfold. The Word of God says that when a thief is caught, he must return what he has stolen sevenfold. Therefore I decree that thieves that have stolen good things from you and your family are returning them to you sevenfold better than the way they met them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Galatians 3 verse 13 that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law because he has been made a curse for us. After all, cursed is anyone who hangs on a tree. According to the word of God, I, therefore, declare over you that all the curses that have been hanging over you and your family due to evil covenants that are still active are hereby rendered impotent right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand and proclaim that the seeds of evil covenant that are beginning to germinate and bear fruits in your life and the lives of your loved ones are uprooted right now by the power in the name of Jesus. These evil seeds of evil covenants will no longer hold you captive in the name that is above every other name. You are free indeed because the Son of Man has set you free indeed. You, therefore, walk in the freedom that Christ gave to you over two thousand years ago in the name of the Lord. I send the angel of the Lord to scatter the gathering of the wicked ones who are actively working to ensure that evil words that were said over you and your family are working effectively in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I stand with all confidence and faith in the finished work of Christ and decree that the works of darkness in your lives and families are exposed and have ended this very minute in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your mighty name. We exalt and magnify your name Lord Jesus for breaking all evil covenant in our lives and families. Whatever you decree with your mouth becomes a law as a child of God. You have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The devil and his minions are not as powerful as you are. You have the one who is called the Omnipotent on your inside, and by this, you are more powerful than any force on earth. The Word of God also says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are not a pawn to the attacks of demonic forces, because you are more than a conqueror through Christ, who first loved you. The devil and his hirelings never rest on their oars to attack the children of God. This is the foremost reason why you should not be casual about dismantling the powers of darkness that are warring against you. We will be praying today against all unclean spirits that are subtly in operation in your lives and families. I will be praying over you, so you say Amen wherever you are. Join me as we pray together in faith. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the powers of darkness that are tormenting and oppressing any of your loved ones are exposed and consumed right now. I decree that all the confederacy of evil forces that are sending projections against you and your loved ones are scattered right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that any evil mark that has been placed upon you or any of your loved ones is erased right now by the blood of Jesus. I decree that no one will trouble you because you bear upon yourself the mark of Christ. The Word of God made it clear to us that he that is joined to Christ is one body, and he that is joined to a harlot is also one body. According to the Word of God, I decree over you that since you have been joined with Christ, the day that you became a new creature, you won't have any affiliation with the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. 
You have no business whatsoever with the association of darkness. From today, I pray for you that you will continually abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and you will dwell in his secret place in Jesus' name. No unclean spirit will try to snatch you away from the love of God. You will always run to safety in the tower of the Lord in Jesus' name. I decree that any unclean spirit that is whispering evil things that will contaminate your soul is silenced right now. I pray for you that you will not be susceptible to the attacks of the wicked ones round about you. I also pray for you that any evil voice that has been echoing in your subconscious mind that is telling you to take away your life is muted this very minute in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the hand of the Lord will be terrible upon all the dark forces, antagonizing the will of God from coming to fruition in your life and family. You will know the will of God per time and season for your life, and no unclean spirit will prevent you from walking in God's divine plan for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you according to God's word in Psalm 35 verse, one which says that the Lord will plead our cause with them that strive with us. He will fight against those who fight against us. Because of God's word, I pray for you that the Lord will plead your cause against the powers of the enemies who have been assigned to frustrate your effort and make you wander about like a vagabond in the name of Jesus. Anyone who says that you will labor in vain is brought to judgment right now in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy the powers of the emptiers who are bent on stealing all the good things that have been made available for you and your family. I render their powers impotent, and they won't be able to hurt you in the name of Jesus. Right now I bring to judgment all the powers that have been assigned to stop you at the edge of your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I destroy that near success syndrome that is at work in your life and family in Jesus' name. You will not be cut short at the verge of your huge testimony. I pray for you that any dark force that has been assigned to put songs of dirge on your lips, rather than songs of joy, is consumed by the fire of the Lord. You will always have a new song of goodness to sing all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. No power can contend with the name of our Lord Jesus. When the name of Jesus is mentioned all the forces on earth, under the earth, in heaven, in the sky stand at attention. They dare not defy the authority in the name of Jesus. One sad thing is that not many believers have been able to appropriate the name of Jesus the right way. They just mention the name of Jesus in fear or in vain. You should call the name that is above every other name without any shred of doubt or fear. The name of Jesus answers every conceivable problem you can think of. We will be using the name of Jesus to cast out all foul and unfamiliar spirits that are subtly at work in the lives of our loved ones and also our own lives. Remember that the word of God says in Mark 16 verse 17 that these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils, they will speak with new tongues, and if they pick up any deadly thing it will not hurt them. Can you see that the very first thing that was mentioned was the fact that you can cast out devils and unclean spirits in the name of Jesus? With this knowledge, we will be casting out all powers that are attacking any of us and our loved ones. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, we come against all the powers of darkness that are fighting against us and are working hard to frustrate the promises of God for us from coming to manifestation. We declare that these unclean spirits are leaving our homes and environment, whether they like it or not. We come in the name of the Lord, and we bring down all unclean spirits that have placed themselves in strategic places in our homes and environment. We call down the fire of the Lord to expose the dark places where these unclean spirits are hiding in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that any one of our loved ones who are under the captivity of the manipulation of unclean spirits is set free right now. We plead the blood of Jesus over their body, soul, and spirit and decree that all affiliations with these unclean spirits are severed this very minute in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has made it clear to us that we will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to us and light will shine upon our paths. According to the impeccable nature of the word of God, 
We bind all foul spirits that have taken possession of any object in our homes in the name of Jesus. We come against these foul spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and say that the fire of the Lord is consuming them. In the name that is above every other name, we decree that the Lord is breaking every evil covenant that is still in operation in our lineage and is putting us under the bondage of demonic spirits. We ask that the fire of the Lord come down and consume all the links that we might be sharing with unclean spirits. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that the fire of the Lord is roasting all the gathering of the unclean spirits that are lurking in our immediate surroundings to cause stagnation in our lives and families. The word of God in our mouth will combat all the negative things that are working contrary to the word of God against our lives and that are orchestrated by these spirits in the name of Jesus. We disconnect ourselves and our families from every association of the powers of darkness that we are unknowingly a party to in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree that the Lord is helping us to come out from every pit we have placed ourselves in due to the negative confessions of our mouths and the wrong company we find ourselves in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, any monitoring spirit that has been assigned to monitor us or our family members is sent on an exile of no return. These monitoring spirits will never find us and the fire of the Lord will shatter all the mirrors of the wicked ones that they want to use to remote control our lives and that of our loved ones in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, we decree that the host of heaven is arresting all the demonic forces that have been assigned to put our lives on the siege and destroy our finances. We declare that we come out of the form of siege that is keeping us on a spot in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering our prayers. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The blood of Jesus is a weapon that you should make use of often in your armory. The blood of Jesus not only washes away our sins, but it also fights and protects us from the arrows of the wicked ones. The blood of Jesus speaks a far better thing than the blood of Abel. Abel's blood speaks only of vengeance, but the blood of Jesus speaks of redemption, victory over sin, victory over death, hell and the grave, protection over the manipulation and activities of the wicked ones, security, peace, and so many other things. The uses of the blood of Jesus are inexhaustible, and you can always come back to it over and over again. Do not be scared of using that precious blood when you need it. One piece of news I have for you today is that the blood of Jesus answers and works effectively when you appropriate it in the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, we will be using the name and blood of Jesus to combat all satanic manipulation of the wicked ones against our lives and families. Do well to pray with all fervor and sincerity of heart. Let your heart be in sync with the words that you will utter in prayers today. Join me as we proclaim the name of Jesus in prayers. In the name of Jesus, Father we say thank you for always hearing and answering us even before we call on you. We say thank you because the desires of our hearts are granted after the end of our prayers. We know that we cannot call on your name in vain we bless your name, Lord Jesus. Father, we give you the glory for making your blood always available for our use. We thank you because your blood can never run dry no matter how often we plead your blood. Blessed be your name, Lord. Lord, as we use your precious blood to counter the devices of the wicked ones today, we pray that your blood will run the wicked ones riot and make them go crazy and also rendered useless and impotent in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus will render impotent all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones that they are using to afflict and manipulate our families. We pray that the blood of Jesus will annul all the evil handwriting of the wicked ones against us and our families in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand on the promises of the Almighty and decree that an end has come to manipulation in our homes in the name of Jesus. The word of God made it clear to us that the blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel. We, therefore, stand in solidarity with the word of God and say that the blood of Jesus will superimpose all the good things that God has promised us over the wicked and evil things the wicked ones are planning against us and our families in the mighty name of Jesus. 
We decree that the curses that are subtly in operation in our lives and families are nullified by the efficacy that is embedded in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is nullifying all the enchantments, spells, divinations, hexes and curses that are working contrary to God's mandate and will for us in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, which was shed over 2,000 years ago, has made us more than conquerors. Because of this, we decree that we walk in the victory that the blood of Jesus has given to us over the works of darkness when Jesus died on the cross in the name that is above every other name. We know that in all these things we are more than conquerors through Christ, who first loved us by shedding his blood for the redemption of our souls. We hereby stand in assurance of this and decree that we have conquered all the nefarious activities of the devil and his cohorts against us and our families in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is wiping the slate clean in our lives and families in the name of Jesus. All the accusations and legal grounds the wicked ones have over us are wiped clean right now by the power in the name of Jesus. We know that there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, and because of this, no accusation and condemnation of the wicked ones against us will stand because the blood of Jesus has wiped away these accusations and condemnations in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. Glory be to your mighty name Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. The blood of Jesus speaks many better things than the blood of cattle and every other animal that people use now for atonement and rituals. With the blood of Jesus, comes with infinite number of packages and goodness. Aside from the fact that the blood of Jesus redeemed you from your sins and justified you, it is also a great weapon in our arsenal. The blood of Jesus can protect you from the wiles of the powers of the enemies. The blood of Jesus speaks only good things. It will never speak of condemnation, hate, lack, poverty, diseases, or any other thing that is contrary to the will of God for you. With the knowledge of this, we are confident of coming against all the powers of the wicked ones gathered against us and our families. Join me as we pray that the blood of Jesus to always speak good things over us and our families. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you for your shed blood that was poured out on our behalf on the cross of Calvary. We say thank you because the blood of Jesus has always made us victorious over the devices of the enemies. We say glory be to your mighty name Lord. Lord Jesus, we are still thanking you because your shed blood has made us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. We are grateful because your blood also made it possible for us to be reconciled back to you. We hallow and magnify your name, Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus, because despite all that is happening around us, we are victorious in your name and we enforce this victory over all areas of our lives. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We are indeed grateful for your blood. Your blood is a precious commodity that we can never exhaust. Father, we come in your name and pray that your blood speak over areas where the wicked ones are beginning to have an upper hand. We pray, Lord Jesus, that your blood will cover all our weaknesses and not expose them to the wicked ones for them to take advantage. By the power in your name, we declare that those things that we have lost in the past are restored right now via the shed blood of Jesus on the cross. The word of God made it known to us in Joel 2 that God will restore to us the years the caterpillar, palmerworm, cankerworm, and palmerworm have eaten. Therefore, according to the word of God, we declare that the blood of Jesus is returning to us the years that we have lost due to negligence and ignorance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree that the works of darkness that are manifesting in our lives and families are put to an end by the power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is annulling all the works of darkness that have been wrought without our knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that the blood of Jesus is also exposing all the strategies and agendas of the power of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, we declare that all the agents of darkness that have placed traps and pitfalls for us and our loved ones in strategic places are destroyed right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. We also pray that the blood of Jesus is going ahead of us to clear all obstructions and stumbling blocks the enemies have placed on our paths in the name of Jesus. 
in the name that is above every other name. We pray that all the wicked ones who are sent to serve as a hindrance and distraction on our way to greatness are removed right now and sent packing. In the name of Jesus, we pray that all the curses, spells, enchantments, hexes, and divinations that have been working contrary to the will of God for our lives are rendered impotent right now by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus which speaks a better thing than all these things is speaking victory over all the evil words that have been said against us and our families in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Philippians 2 verses 13 and 15 that we have been given a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess the Lordship of Jesus. According to God's word, we decree that all the powers of darkness that are waging war against us and any of our loved ones are surrendering right now, and they will never rise again by the power in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will always speak peace, victory, blessings, honor, favor, breakthrough, promotion, joy, speed, and every other package that comes with the finished works of Christ over us and our families in Jesus' name. Thank you Father for hearing and answering all our prayers. We say thank you Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. The devil and his cohorts often do their best to attack you via dreams. Dreams are an extension of you in the realm of the spirit. God sometimes speak to us through dreams when we are caught up in so many activities, which often prevents us from hearing the voice of God. The word of God makes it known to us that the voice of God resounds upon many waters. It simply means that God always ensure that he reiterates his words clearly to his people without mincing words. One thing the devil and his agents thrive on doing is distorting the voice of God via dreams. This is one of the reasons why your spirit must be attuned to the voice of God, to be able to distinguish between th voice of God and the voice of the devil and also your voice. Your dreams have an important role in playing and relaying frequencies of the spirit back to you. You will often discern something that is not right in your life via dreams. E.g. Dreams like going back to the school you graduated from and receding for an exam. Having a mournful look in the dream, crying bitterly in the dream, and so on show that there is a strange pattern in your life you must put to an end. Today, we will be coming against all the evil dreams that are stumbling blocks between you and your destiny in the name of Jesus. As we pray now, we will do that together with all fervor and sincerity. Let us pray together in faith. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of darkness that are warring against you and your God-given destiny are rendered useless right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to demonic oppression through dreams by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name that is above every other name that all the dreams that have been recurring over time in your life, which have put your life under siege are ending right now, and you won't have those dreams anymore. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you that all evil imaginations that have exalted their heads through dreams above the knowledge of God in your family and life are brought under subjection in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that only Jesus will reign supreme over your dream life. Every time you lay down to rest, you won't have any cause to sorrow through dreams. You will have sweet dreams at night when you sleep. I send the fire of God to consume all the powers of darkness that have connived to manipulate your dreams in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will be your strong tower anytime you want to sleep in Jesus' name. You will not be scared by the terror that walks by night, nor for the pestilence that works in darkness. The Lord will build a wall of fire around you and your family members every time you lay down to rest in the name of Jesus. I proclaim over you that no one will hurt you at night when you sleep in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that any demonic projection that is sent against you and your loved ones while you are asleep is rendered impotent and useless this very minute. I send back all the arrows that are shut against you while you are asleep in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that any demonic soul tie you might be sharing with dark forces due to demonic manipulation is severed right now without any delay. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family 
and I use the blood of Jesus to wipe any evil handwriting that has been written against you in your dream by the power in the name of Jesus. I send the arrows of God to scatter all the confederacy of the wicked ones that are gathered to manipulate your dream life by the power in the name of Jesus. The gathering of the wicked ones is discomfited right now, wherever they are to confuse your life by manipulating you through dreams in Jesus' name. The banner of the Lord is raised high as you lay down to sleep every night. The angel of the Lord will always keep watch over you and your household as you all sleep every night in the name of Jesus. I decree an end of demonic siege, stagnation, oppression, manipulation and affliction that have been happening to you that came as a result of evil dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. You will experience speed instead of delay and progress instead of stagnation by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that today marks an end to demonic influence in your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless your name Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers today. Glory be to your mighty and holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. It is very important that any time you relocate to a new environment and home you need to sanctify it and bless it, because you don't know what the previous occupant of the house did before you moved in. The previous occupant might be involved in some activities which are ungodly, and they might begin to affect you adversely one way or the other. You bless your homes by pleading the blood of Jesus over them, and also using the name of Jesus to come against all foul spirits that are subtly manifesting in that new house or compound you packed into, aside from the fact that you need to sanctify new homes and environments. You also need to daily plead the blood of Jesus over your home, even if you have been living there for a while. This is the best time to pray and bless your homes. There is no better time than now. Let's join our faith as we pray together. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for giving us a place where we can rest our body and soul. We bless your name, Lord, because we are not homeless or stranded. Glory be to your mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come here to thank you because our homes are blessed and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. We thank you because we are not under any form of bondage in the new home we moved into. Lord Jesus, we come in your name and authority that you have given unto us and decree that all the powers of darkness that are lurking in the new homes we relocated to are brought under subjection, and they are rendered impotent in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, we decree that any form of oppression, bondage, suppression, obsession and possession that the previous occupants of our new homes suffered from have ended right here and now. We are not a party to all the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus to abolish all the handwriting of ordinances that were written against the previous occupants of the homes. We are staying currently in the mighty name of Jesus. We invoke the blood of Jesus to thoroughly wipe out all traces of activities of the wicked ones that are still in operation in our homes in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree that an end has come to all the operations of the wicked forces of darkness in our homes. We know that these forces have sworn not to give us a breathing space, but we come against them in the name of Jesus, and we decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming them right now in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, we come against all the demonic forces that want to take possession of objects in our homes to manipulate any member of our families. We send the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume any object whatsoever the wicked ones want to use to cause chaos in our families in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the angel of the Lord is warring against foul spirits that are in operation in our environments and are looking for avenues to infiltrate into our homes. We decree that the angels of the Lord will always protect us and our loved ones from the operation of the powers of darkness. The Word of God says in Matthew 18 verse 18 that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Therefore according to the Word we bind all the evil forces of darkness that are manipulating our homes. We don't care to know how long they have been in operation. All we know is that the fire of the Lord is exposing them this very minute in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Luke 10 verse 19 
that we have been given the power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. In the assurance of the word of God, we hereby stand with all confidence and say that we trample upon all the powers of darkness that have been sent to manipulate and oppress any member of our families in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has made it known to us that affliction will never rise again the second time. We pray now that all forms of affliction that any one of our loved ones are going through are ending now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. Glory be to your mighty name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please do well to do that now. Also do not forget to like and share this video to your friends and loved ones. God bless you richly.